G'day viewers, oh, I've got this perfect power adapter for this um, little 555 circuit. 6 volts at 100 milliamps. I didn't have any use for this, so I might as well use it for this uh, little circuit. It worked out perfect. Made by Yi Fu Electronic Factory. Gotta love generic Chinese wall wart manufacturers. There's some funnier ones out there I've read. Turn it on. There you go, I can adjust it. I've got to get a screwdriver that, suit, that suits those little potentiometers there. I can adjust it. That will go to a, a gate of a MOSFET and have like an optocoupler coupler go into ground and a separate supply to uh, isolate the MOSFET's power from this so this doesn't get any spikes. And this would drive a MOSFET which would drive a flyback. Alright, I'll get set up and get and see uh, how much adjustment we can get on this thing. It's pretty handy, it's all the way up to I think. Oh, I think it was 50 megahertz or something, I can't remember now. Alright, oh, let's try adjusting some uh, settings on this 555 plumber circuit. Square wave generator. Very small the uh, slots in these screws. Oops. It's faster. That's all the way in that one. There's a lot of adjustment though, tension was, but you gotta be careful, it's like a little stop in there. I don't know what the camera's focus is playing up for. Huh. No, the camera's never done that before. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Hmm. Yeah. No cat, no cat's out there. Ah, there's bloody camera, I don't know what I've, what I've never done this before. Okay, if you were to remove this little jumper, put it on our next set of pins. It's our next frequency there. Hey cat, no cat's out there. It's going fast, the other day doesn't stay all the way on. I'm not going to adjust the potentiometer. This looks like a tall only you can't see it pulsing and it's going so quick. And just the other one. And you set it higher again. This cat one. Shift that out of there and I can set the frequency higher again. Bit hard to grab, but don't give me much room on this. I should put something like a tie bit of string on there so I can grab it and pull it out easier without damaging the components next to it. And go higher. And that's just sitting there for the highest frequency. There you go. Well, I'm going to make a little enclosure for this. When I get the MOSFET and everything set up, I'll make an enclosure for this and use it as a MOSFET gate driver. Also, i got to make an enclosure for my ignition uh, coil driver as well. I'm going to really use this um, central locking transmitter and receiver box enclosure. Nice and strong, but perfect for me, coil driver. If you look at these little uh, mold these little uh, mouldings here, they can the circuit board will just about fit in there. Oh, look at that, it's made for it. That'll fit in between those. Perfect. I'll set that in the middle then. Now the length is a slightest bit too long, but I can squeeze in and with a tiniest bit of hot glue, it'll uh, secure itself in there quite nicely. 
So if I stick that like that, I'll probably um, that'll work out good because I have a little heat sink that'll fit right there for this. So I'll put this on the top of a circuit board and make a heat sink or something that goes on that and make it hang out of here. Get some circulation of air through there. That'll work perfect. Now I want a soldering iron heats up. Uh, the oil system fits perfectly. It's a tiny bit off for an angle, but that doesn't really matter. The heat sink sits out the gap, and I'll close this lid. Perfect. It's a good little enclosure, that. This will get some good air circulation, too, for the IGBT with the heat sink near this hole, so... Sure, I'm quite happily like that. I'll just glue that there like that as it is. And that'll be alright. I have a nice, good enclosure for my uh, ignition coil. And this is a, a universal, uh, a universal bloody um, test any uh, Commodore ignition coil with this. It's quite a good little circuit. If yours want a hot snot guns heating up, I give this thing a run on my high current uh, 12 volt power supply, and this thing's bloody happy. The IGBT is still staying cold. This thing's very happy. Because the Mark II uh, circuit I popped, I was um. I kind of drove it a little bit too fast and blew the uh, BU941P. Not designed to drive these things at a very high frequency. But I noticed that circuit worked quite hard. And that transistor got hot regardless. But with this one, the RGPT, everything, everything seems to run quite happily. There's no um, excessive heat anywhere. See, so you get the camera to see the lightning here. Try and adjust it a bit here. Very cool. Yeah, it's just out of frame of the camera. It's about, I don't know, I think that's an inch and a half long. And it starts to break the, uh, the arc, start, it starts to spark. As you can see there, Never run these without the spark plug uh, boots on because this will arc to the closest point in the coil and burn through the plastic. So I've kind of buggered this coil up doing that. And that still staying cold. It's just a tad warm. This circuit's very happy. Alright. It shouldn't get too warm at all in this little enclosure. The resistor. Yeah, the resistor gets the warmest, but it's nowhere near. Uh, Dangerously warm, so it's a pretty good temperature there. I wonder where I can put that somewhere up and somewhere we can get some cool air. I reckon I'll stick it there in front of the uh, where the wiring is. Just stand it up and sit the uh, hot snot and make it stand up there so I can get some air circulation. If I just glued that body that was just a straight down, it's going to get warm and melt the glue and be pointless. So I'll this out of here and we can glue this in and assemble it. And this will be a Quite a good little driver to play around with. The adjustments are fine, I won't touch those, that's the best I've got it, so. Now let's have some fun. It's all in its enclosure, it's all nice and compact, and it's actually worked out quite well in here. As you can see in there. Look that, perfect. I can sit the power supply on top of that, get some good air circulation around there in the resistor. Perfect. It's worked out quite well as a little driver, you know, it's a little enclosure like that. I use that metal when I came with something else. Yeah, so I'm going to turn the power on. There you go, it's arcing itself out now. Committing suicide, this thing. This circuit also has a transient voltage suppressor in it, so it stops the, um, the integrated circuit and the RGBT getting a spike when it's coiled. Set. Power off. Yep, that's run. Cool RGBT. 
Hmm, I'll see if I can find some other things I could pop on this thing. <coughs> Voltage tester. It's got a little neon on there. Let's see what that does when I shock it. Oh, it works. Oh. Doesn't like that one. Yeah, this power supply. I can't arc to um, I gotta earth it. Yeah, I didn't like that. Because I was at the uh, metal part here. The actual earth of this quarter, I haven't earthed this transformer, it doesn't need to be earth. It's got a lot of isolation insulation on it. And the uh, spark went through that 30 earth cord and to ground. Interesting. Be careful there, I'll move this up away from the uh, that metal surface here. Yeah, let's try it. It's all automotive um, grade uh, out and out of it. Uh, and out and out of bloody um, rectifier anyway, so that would take a spark from this and no worries. Fan from an out and out. Sparky, sparky. You can see in the air, it's actually flashing. Car probably won't pick it up. Power off to a check in the IGBT. Still stone cold. Perfect, it's running quite happily. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. You can just sit in there and they're flashing. There you go, it's just in the air, the Corona. Hmm, I wonder what else we can uh, zap. I did have a camera flash tree, but I bloody broke it. Let's just try some experiments with this bulb over the end of the uh, spark plug boot. Interesting effects. Very interesting effects. I got a lightning bulb. Or a lightning tube. Okay, interesting. Gotta love a lightning this in Max. Our right, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Plug safety first. Even though it's a little uh, ignition coil, still got to be safe. It's good force of habit. Thanks for watching.